hey y'all welcome back to my channel today we're going to do a client tutorial now off camera i did cleanse her face with witch hazel and use my bobby brown moisturizer vitamin enriched moisturizer to moisturize her face and now i'm just going in with um, the black girl sunscreen My client does have oily skin, so I'm going to use my Milk Mattifying um, Primer and I'm just going to apply that in her oily areas, which is mostly her T-zone, so that's the forehead, chin, and nose. I'm about to prep her eyebrows so I'm going to start off with a translucent powder on her brows and then I'm going to go in with um, the e.l.f. Um, brow lift I believe it is. I'll have all of the um, products listed down below. And she has oily skin. Um, this will help mattify her brow so she won't get oily in her brow area. Um, after a couple hours so I do love to do this with my oily skin clients only if my if I have a dry skin client I'll just go straight into the brow lift or the brow wax it does take me a minute to get all of that product inside the brows but um, I want to make sure that every single strand of hair has um, a little of that product on there so we can get those natural looking brows that I always go for. Um, I do have a brow tutorial on my my TikTok at Rentrice, R-A-N-T-R-I-C-E. But if you do want a updated brow tutorial, just leave me some white hearts down below and I will make sure to give you guys um, an updated brow tutorial. Once I'm done with the brows, I'm going to carve out um, underneath the brows. I do not finish the brows. I do that last. Um, 
so yeah right here I'm just carving it out with some concealer and then I'm going to also bring that concealer all the way down to her lid to prep for eyeshadow Now y'all, as y'all can see, my clients are very comfortable around me. Um, we definitely talk like we are best friends or we haven't seen each other in forever. But um, I really enjoy my clients. That's why I have to block off like more um, or extra time just because I know I get to talking and we just be having a good old time. So I definitely like to block off some extra time just so I can talk to my clients. Now I'm going into my Juvia's Place Warrior Palette. Um, I believe it's Warrior Palette 1. And I'm just taking that light brown shade and I'm placing this into her crease area. Now taking that dark brown shade and I'm just putting that in the outer corner and that's just going to smoke out um, the eyeshadow.
taking a concealer that's like four shades, probably more than that, lighter than her, to prep the eyelid. And this is going to help um, have a base for my cream eyeshadow that I'm going to put on. And it's just going to help that eyeshadow pop even more and also not to, um, well, just to show pigmented, really. Now I'm going into my Julius Place Warrior Palette 2 and I'm taking that cream shade um, in there and I'm just packing that all over the lid. And as you see, I'm just tapping. I'm not swiping or wiping that product on because I want it to show as pigment as it can. Switching back to the Warrior One palette, I'm using that neutral black tone inside the palette and I'm just using that to smoke out um, her eyeliner. Well, I didn't put eyeliner on, but I'm using it to create a smoky eyeliner. Now we did put on a full lash for this look. It was her birthday, but she ended up saying that it was a little too much dramatic. So we did take those off and opt for a more flirty, natural looking um, lash. And it actually turned out really, really, really pretty. I always wanna make sure that my clients are satisfied. So it's always important to me um, that my clients be open and honest with me especially if I don't give off that you know bitchy or non-acceptant type of makeup artist so I actually command all of my clients that are 100% honest with me and allow me to fix my mistakes instead of bashing me to others Alright, so right here we are color correcting. Uh, I am using the Charlotte Tillsbury um, color corrector in the shade Deep. And I'm just applying that wherever I see hyperpigmentation so that we can have a flawless base. So the two foundation shades that I used was Macau and New Clandonia. Um, I did mix those two together to get her perfect shade. And now I'm just applying it with my concealer brush all over her face and then I'm going to blend it out with a foundation brush.
using the same concealer shades that I used um, for her brows, which I don't believe I told y'all, but I did mix deep caramel and deep chestnut together. And right here, I'm just applying it on all of the highlighted areas. So it'll be underneath her eyes, her forehead, the bridge of her nose, keep it swell and chin. Um, keep it swell is definitely optional. I don't know why I still do it because it definitely doesn't do anything to the look. And right here, her eyelashes got stuck together, so I'm trying to separate it. Um, it's not typically when that lash glue um, falls or drain from me applying the lashes. But eventually, when I put her eyeliner, mascara, and her eyeshadow underneath, it won't stick anymore. Now, if you don't have a Real Technique setting brush, I advise you to get it. It's the best brush for blending out um, concealer. I absolutely love it. And it also blends out so freaking good. I just absolutely love it. Look at that. No line of demarcations or anything. Now I'm using the Juvia's Place Foundation um, Sticks. Um, I use them for contour. I feel like they're a little too thick for a foundation. So the shade I'm using is Catsina, and I absolutely love that shade. And as you see, it's warming up her skin. And now um, I'm actually getting like an even look to match like her neck and her actual skin tone. So I absolutely love that. And that's my big back, y'all. I should edit that out, but I believe I left it in because I wanted to show you guys how it looks. We're going to further blend out that contour so we can have a seamless blend with um, the foundation brush that I used to apply her own um, foundation. And that's just to make sure that we don't have any line or demarcations between the foundation and the contour. Using that same contour shade, I'm going to contour her nose. Um, the brush, I don't know what kind of brush it is, but it's very vital to how I get my snatched nose. So I will leave that down below. And I'm taking that Real Technique setting brush again. And I'm before I set everything with powder, I'm just making sure everything is blended out completely so that the powder won't set and it looks, you know, crazy.
Okay, right here I am just applying her blush. This is the Juvia's Place um, Rouge blush in the shade Volume 4, I believe. And if you don't know, blush is in. Uh, I did go back in to intensify the blush because sometimes it tends to like fade away. So I did go back in and add a little bit more. Um, actually, I add a lot more because I know once I apply my um, mineralized skin finish powder by MAC that it'll kind of soften it. So I did do a little bit extra. But I'm just applying this um, skin finish powder all over her face. And now I'm using my Bobbi Brown highlighter. Um, in the shade bronze glow on her highlighted areas so her cheek forehead tip of her nose keep it swelling chin Going back in into my Warrior One palette, I'm using those same eyeshadows that I used in her crease in her outer corner area to smoke out the underneath her eyelids. Using my Morphe brow pencil in the shade Java, I am just filling out her brows. Um, mainly focusing on the sparse areas of her brows and then I'll go in the front and fill in the front as well. Here is my perfectionist kicking in. Um, I went back in with the concealer brush that I used for her foundation just to clean up the top of her brow. I noticed that it was a little bit thicker than her left brow. So I just went in to slim it down just a tad bit. I'm going to line her lip with the MAC Chestnut um, Lip Liner and then I'm also go inside the center with a lighter brown lip liner and that's just going to give an ombre effect when I apply her lipstick and when it's blended out. I can't remember the shade um, lipstick I use, but I will leave it down in the description box below once I get a hit, um, my hand on it. But I'm just um, applying that in the center of her lips and I'm just going to ask her to blot her lips so that I could get that lipstick to spread. We did add a lip gloss on top and now I'm about to set her um, face. The setting sprays that I use were the one size setting spray and the Charlotte Tillsbury setting spray. 
and I am moving a little too fast, but right here I'm just cleaning up her lips, um, making sure that you can see that brown um, lip liner that we applied. Alright guys, thank you for watching my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As you see, my client absolutely loved her makeup and I hope you did too. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. I love it. I like it. Do it for you every time. Thank you, girl. I appreciate it.